What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using one of the best Gen 1 water types of all time. We got ourselves Dragon Dance Gyarados for rank regulation each. Now, when it comes to Gyarados, especially in Scarlet and Violet, you most likely see this Pokemon as a supporting Intimidate Pokemon with moves such as like Taunt or Thunder Wave, stuff like that. But in today's video, we're bringing the physical attacking back to this Pokemon with Dragon Dance to boost its speed and its attack stat, making this Pokemon really fast and hit like an absolute truck. So super excited to use Gyarados today. But let's talk about its typing and everything about it. It's got Intimidate, one of the best abilities in all of Pokemon. It's got the clear amulet as item, so it won't really be affected by other Intimidate users. It's a water and flying type Pokemon with the flying terror type, and then you got Waterfalls for stab, Dragon Dance to set up, Terror Blast to go with that stab flying terror type, and then you got Protect for your fourth and final move. So this Gyarados, here for big time attacking damage, I'm ready to rock out with it. Speaking of big time attackers, on the special attacking side, we got Hydreigon. Now Hydreigon, great special attacker, great Pokemon all around, is holding the choice specs as its item today with the Levitate ability. It's got Draco Meteor, it's got Dark Pulse, it's got Heat Wave, and to deal with big time special attackers, it even has Snarl, so we can drop special attack that way. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features Talonflame, Golden Go, Amoongus, and Myshao. Now Talonflame, great Tailwind setter, has Quick Guard on it to deal with first turn priority Pokemon. Golden Go, another great special attacker that can set up with Nasty Plot. Moongo's going to be there for support with Spore and Rage Powder. Then my shout over here with Fake Out and Close Combat, it can do it all. I really do like this team. Super excited to be showcasing it. If you guys want to run this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right-hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's go set up Dragon Dance with Gyarados in match number one. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Match number one coming at you guys, and we're going up against Sentret, right? That's how you pronounce it? Not too sure, but that little Pokemon, probably Eviolite. It's got to be Eviolite. Looking scary, looking like it's going to do something crazy. But I think from here, we can see half Trick Room. Actually, mostly Trick Room here. And it could be like a Torkoal Lilligan kind of lead. So we're going to have to deal with that. We're going to have to deal with that. I do like Gyarados in here for our lead. Or I could go into a Fake Out user instead. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Because Torkoal is going to be annoying, man. Torkoal is going to be annoying. I could go into Talonflame just so we get first turn priority. That's not bad. I think my shell is actually going to be a solid lead. Be able to fake out. We got knockoff to deal with things. I'm going to go my shell and I'm also going to go into Gyarados here turn one. I uh, look into Torkoal. just, mm, I don't like that. We do not like that, but I, I like Amoongus here, especially if they are going to pop Trick Room. And last but not least, we could go in with just Hydreigon or it could go in with Golden Go. I'm going to lean towards Hydreigon though. I mean, you do have Dragon Terra. We're going to go Hydreigon with the choice specs. We're going right into the choice specs. It could go into like a Snarl user. Hmm. Could go Talonflame too. No, you know what? We're fine with this. We're fine with this. We're fine with this. So if I had to guess, like, if they go Hisuian Logan and Torkoal, that Hisuian Logan is Ghost Terror type, so we don't want to fake that out. We'd rather fake out the Torkoal. And it's still a problem because usually you're focus Ash. Just don't lead it. Hopefully they don't lead it, right? It's just such an annoying combo to deal with. Don't lead it. And they're going to lead, aren't they? All right, cool. They don't lead it. They got Sentrin out here. Yes. That's what I want to see. So I can't fake out. I do have knockoff, though, which is good. Uh, they're probably going to pop Trick Room. I don't know what that thing's doing. Is that like an Endeavor user or a Final Gambit user? It's got to be something. It's got to be something. I'm still going to try to set up this, this Dragon Dance just for damage boost. I'm just going to go for knockoff. I could go into a Dark Terror type. I think Dark Terror knockoff can KO. We give it a try. No, I'm just gonna double down. I'm just gonna double down into Friggies. I'm just gonna double down in Friggies with the Dark Terra knockoff. I don't know what this Sentry does. I really don't. And it's 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 kind of annoying me because I know it's gonna pull something out crazy. I'm gonna be like, okay, that's what it does, and they're just gonna win the game. But props for them using a cool team like this. Props all day. I'm gonna Dark Terra. Get right after it. Follow me. That's what you have. Why do you have follow me? Why do you have follow me? I just ruined everything there. That's money. That is money. It's probably not even... Yeah, it's not even Evo. Like, it's just there to use follow me and die out and set up Trick Room. Only reason it's there. It's the only reason it's there. Alright. So now we gotta deal with Trick Room. So it was there for a simple life, and it lived its simple life. 
It was there to click follow me, then that's it. And focus Ash up and then go into another Pokemon. They end up going into Pelipper. Which is kind of weird to think about. Pelipper's gonna come out here. Um I do have Taunt, but I mean knockoff's definitely gonna be our play. Could end up terrestrializing for a graph. Um We're not gonna protect Gyarados, we're really just gonna attack here with waterfall in the rain. Just does so much damage. Terrapi is gonna fly. My shadow's gonna live on 32. Is Pelper gonna KO? He's gonna KO. That's fine. I kind of wish I had protected. I probably would have sent it, but that's no big deal. I mean, you KO with Weather Ball. I get off a a stab waterfall in the rain with Gyarados. Should do a respectable amount, not even a m more than respectable amount of damage. And we learned that Pelper is Life Orb. The waterfall launches, and yeah, that's some great damage, especially on the bulky for a grab. The Trick Room's here, and I mean. Gotta throw out Amoongus, right? We gotta waste out Trick Room somehow. And putting Pelipper to sleep is definitely gonna be our call. So Pelipper, night, night. Do you have anybody who can stop being put to sleep? Loganth, if you have it, we're, we're putting you to sleep. So we're gonna do that, and we're just gonna keep ripping Waterfalls. We're just gonna keep ripping Waterfalls. This is exactly why I brought Amoongus. Like, when you're dealing with Trick Room teams and you have Amoongus, like, just bring it. Let's be honest, just bring it. It's that good. It's like when Trick Room set, it's just king of it. It can just steamroll everybody. He's going to end up protecting, which is no big deal. That gives my, uh, that, that, that wastes us out of turn. Psychic's going to fly, which we should be able to eat all day. Yeah, we do. Awesome. And I got Citrus Berry. And I got Citrus Berry, which is good news. So there's that. Spore actually goes after Frigoraph, so there is a chance that they have a slower Pokemon than us. There is a chance a Waterfall is just going to fly, and Gyarados is just... Chilling fine in the rain. Like, you brought out the rain for my Gyarados to just thrive out with. There's that. Wonder who their last Pokemon is. No way it's Torkoal. It's got to be a Raquinid, right? It is Torkoal, so Sun's here now. Sun is here. How many turns are left in Trick Room? We got two. Um, I wish I had Protect with you. The chances are, I mean, if Frigraph's slower, then Torkoal's got to be slower. I still have Hydreigon, which is a slight issue for us. Um, what do I want to do here? Because we know Eruption's going to fly here. Is Rage Powder really not going to do that much? I don't know. If I can get off a of Spore, I'd rather Spore you. I'm just going to protect you. I'm just gonna protect you. This is this we actually might lose this. Torco coming out here last turn. It kinda uh negates a lot of what what's called wants to do. What Pelipper wants to do, like Hurricane, Weather Ball. I mean Weather Ball can still kinda thrive here with the sun. And helping hand's gonna boost here. For some reason, can you outspeed here, Amoongus? I don't think you do because again, Frigoraph was slower. So this Torco's gotta be slower. Yeah, there goes eruption. All right, so, ah, oh, this is weird, man, because I don't have protect this next turn, and there's one turn left in trick room, and I just feel as you have to go for this helping hand eruption. I mean, we are not very effective, both my Pokemon, up against this guy, and we should probably just rip snarls. Should we choice in a snarl here? I mean, a stab is really gonna help us out up against these special attackers. Or do we just choice in like dark pulls? I think Snarl can be the play. I wish I did have another Protect, but I, I don't. I don't. So I'm just going to do this, and I'm just going to follow through with Waterfall. Even though it's in the sun, I still feel this damage could be solid. But how much damage is this Eruption doing? Again, it's not very effective on the boat. It's not. Let's see. Can you guys both soak? I kind of need you guys both to soak. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Not very effective. We die out the Torkoal. One turn left in Trick Room. All we really need to do is soak that turn, but hey, GG's to our opponent. The Trick Room gets the best of us. To be honest, that shouldn't be allowed. We should not have two full HP Pokemon and die out to a not very effective move. That should not be allowed. That is crazy, but that is Torkoal. That is Torkoal. Just a top tier Trick Room Pokemon. Dropping eruptions with that Terror type. That really hurt, because if we just soak that turn, which I kind of thought we would on low HP, 
we probably would have won that game, right? Snarl would have flew, Tricker would have been end it, my Pokemon would have outsped, would have been get after. But we're now hopping into our second match, looking to bounce back, going up against Pelipper, Archludon, and Basculi. Just a top tier ring combination there. Um, Gyarados isn't too bad here, especially to intimidate turn one, and I am going to go into Gyarados. Plus, I could try to set up a Dragon Dance, which I like. And I'm going to go gonna go into Talonflame. Even though they could set the rain, but I could set up Talonflame, which could really benefit our team. So, I'm going to go Talonflame. I'm going to go Gary the Gyarados. And then, in the back end, I could go in with Amoongus for Spores. I could go Hydreigon as well. I think I definitely want Hydreigon. And I think I definitely want My Shell instead of Amoongus. My Shell is just going to be good because we need ways to kind of deal with Arch Luna. Like, whenever I see Arch Luna, I'm like, I have to figure out a way to KO it. Now, close combat can do ridiculous amount of damage as long as this Pokemon's not stamina boosted. That's the one issue with it. So, if we see Arch Loot on there, we don't really want to bulk it up too much, right? We want to save it for a big time close combat shot, look and do a lot of damage, and then maybe Hydreigon late game can clean up with a special attacking move. That's really kind of like the only way around uh, Arch Loot on. It's like, have a big time special attacker that can do some damage to it. Or, or one big physical attacking shot, because after the first one, they're just defensive bulked. And you're sitting with a problem. So let's see who they end up leading. It's got to be probably Pelp or Arch Ludon. I could see that happening. Um, And if it is, I could D dance if I want to. But it's going to be Bash Collision and Incineroar, which honestly isn't too bad. This honestly isn't too bad. I wish I was kind of focused last year, but I am Life Orb. And I think I just got a Quick Guard here. I do get off an Intimidate, which is nice. But I am going to go for Quick Guard. I am going to Quick Guard this fake out. You might take out my talent flame with that, but at the expense of a dragon ants getting off. So I'll do that. I will go quick guard here. I could end up terrestrializing, but that would just be stellar. Uh, I was kind of hoping it would be like grass or something. So I'm just going to quick guard instead. I'm going to pop a nice little D dance. And we'll see what Bachelor Legion might even swap here. Who knows? B minus one, he might just be like, hey, dude, I'm out of here. I'm not doing that much damage. I'm just going to swap. Or it could stay in here and be like, hey, I'm going for wave crash. Let me send it. We'll see. We'll see, especially because Bash Legion really thrives for more of a back-end Pokemon. Because of last respects. But we're going to quick card here. Fake Out is going to get blocked. That's pretty nice for us. Going to the Garrett slot. And Bash Legion is going to stay on the field and go for Wave Crash probably. I don't know. But we D-Dance up. Getting after it. Plus one attack, plus one speed. Are we seeing Wave Crash City here? Flip turn. That's fine. You should soak this. Thank you. <laughs> 1 HP. Thank you. Now, I'm hoping we can have a Pokemon that is slower than Talonflame come out here because I wouldn't mind setting up a Tailwind here. So now I'm sitting here Dragon Dance plus one, which is good. I could see Pelipper come out here. And I wouldn't mind Pelipper. I feel like every Pokemon that they're going to throw out here besides Special Legion. Okay, it's going to be Moogus. That's fine. So Moogus comes out here. I could Brave Bird, but I really want a Tailwind. I could Brave Bird, but I really want a Tailwind. I'm going to Terror Blast and just uh, get rid of this Amoongus. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to set up the Tailwind. I'm going to set up the Tailwind for the rest of the squad. So I kind of know their team now. It seems like they didn't bring Arch Loot on. They got Bash Legion by its... Or not by itself. Bash Legion probably Pelipper with Amoongus and Incineroar. I'm guessing they have Pelipper, right? There's no way they didn't bring Pelipper. So instead of attacking this Incineroar right here, who might go for a parting shot into me... Um, we're going to Terrasilize and try to get rid of this Moongus because chances are Rage Powder is going to fly. That's what I think. There's a chance either Protect or Rage Powder. I mean, if you go for Spore, that's fine because I'm just going to outspeed and do some nice lovely damage into you. But I'm just going to go straight into this Flying Terra. Let's do it. So Flying Terra comes out here. Terra Blast is just going to launch. No Rage Powder, no nothing. And I'd rather get rid of a Moongus than Incineroar. where I hate dealing with a Moongus. Get out of here, Moongus. So Moongus, gone. Out my face. See you later. See you later. It's big time KO. Tailwind's gonna fly. And are you taking out Talonflame? Kinda hope not. I'd love to use Talonflame for another turn. You're gonna parting shot my Talonflame. Okay. I don't mind that. I thought you were gonna parting shot my Gyarados. My Gyarados is just chilling here. Plus one attack, plus one speed. The Talonflame's just kinda just, I don't know, doing its thing, right? Minus two. Talonflame's sitting here minus two. Getting off Tailwind. I could swap it if I want to, but I might just use it as just like a... A death sentence, right? <laughs> like, just die, right? So, they could go back into Incineroar if they want to. And if they do, I mean, we're just going to quick guard it. Because I want to guarantee another shot for my Gyarados. The Gyarados is my, my big baller right now. He's just chilling here doing some nice damage. So we got rid of the Moongus, which was huge. Like, I don't I don't have to deal with Spore. Bastion Legion is going to come back out here. 
And you're gonna come in here with Pelipper. There's a chance for Pelipper to come out here. There is a hot chance that Pelipper does come out here. It's gonna be Incineroar. So yeah, we're just gonna quick guard. I mean, be my guest. And Talonflame's minus three. So yeah, just please take out my Talonflame. Now, do I go Waterfall this slot to take out Incineroar, or do I attack Basculeja now? I kind of want to attack Basket Legion. I feel like Basket Legion is just like a bigger threat. I mean, I do have Snarl and a Dragon type. Alright, yeah, you know what? We're just going to go for the Waterfall this slot. And we'll go for Quick Guard. Just in case. Just in case. I mean, they could easily read this Quick Guard, but this is just like a safety blanket kind of thing. So Quick Guard flies, and Waterfall is just going to dump on Incineroar. Bye bye. Alright, Incineroar's gone. When Incineroar try to attack him, we just get rid of it. And can you take out my Talonflame? No, you're going after my Gyarados. Why is that KO my Gyarados? That by itself KOs Gary? I really want a Gary. I really want a Gary. Um, that hurts. That hurts. So with Tailwind out here, um, I think we got to go into Hydreigon here. And start snarling. Because, yeah, it's going to be Pelipper. So we have Tailwind out here. Is Bash Legion faster? That's the real question. A lot, of, a lot of Pokemon that are flapping wings right here. How fast are you, Hydreigon? That really killed my Gyarados? That's, that sucks. You're probably not faster than Bash Legion. I, you, you have a shot. You're definitely faster than Pelipper. Which is good. So I'm going to snarl up here. Just really help us out. And if I can, I can just go for Brave Bird in the slot. If I can, I'm minus three, so it's like, oh, it's ugly. It's ugly. We're going to see a Terra type come out from Basket Legion. Probably Grass. Is it Grass? It's going to be Water. All right. So Water typing comes out here. That really kills my Gyarados. That really sucks, man. Brave Bird's going to fly. I'm going to KO myself and do negative five damage. I should have probably sent that into Pelipper, but I'm kind of looking just like snarl down the Pelipper so it can't really do any damage to us. Let's see. We do outspeed, which is good news. And that does great damage across the board. That's just beautiful damage. Special attack dropped onto the Pelipper. Bash Legion going to hit us hard with last respects here. And Pelipper, what you got cooking? Minus one. Oh, minus one Tailwind. We ends up going for Tailwind here. The Tailwind out and about. We can fake out this turn, which is good. And we have one turn left in Tailwind. The chances are they probably protect... And we can just snarl away. Yeah, so I'm going to snarl here. You could have... Oh, dude, you could have Wide Guard. You could indeed have Wide Guard. You could definitely have Wide Guard. I'm going to pick up Basket Legion here. You could have Wide Guard Pelipper. I guess we'll see this turn. I guess we'll see. Tailwind for Tailwind. We could see a Wide Guard. Wide Guard could be a problem. I'm choice right now. I am choice right now. Down to the brim. I still have Focus Ash, which is really good news for us. Um, we're going to fake out the Basket Legion in hopes that it doesn't protect. There's a chance that it goes for it doesn't protect and he goes for Wide Guard. I'm choice right now. I am choice. Oh, no. Fake out flies. Does respectable damage. Pelper, what are you doing? You staying on the field? Hey, that's game. That's game. Beautiful. So no wide guard pops out here. Hydreigon clutching up. Snarl does a ridiculous amount of damage with Hydreigon in the choice specs. I absolutely love it. Third and final match on its way. We bounce back in the last match, setting up Dragon Dance and doing a lot of work with Gyarados and having Hydreigon clutch up the match. But now we're going up against a Alolan Ninetale Snow team with Glaceon and Frostmoth. Frostmoth? Frostmoth. Frostmoth. And then they got Metacham. Milotic and Arcanine. So pretty solid team here. Uh, I don't mind intimidating turn one. I don't mind going into Gyarados. The only problem would be the ice. I could go gold. Golden Go. It could, could be nice. I think leading Golden Go might be our play. With Talonflame, do we want? Yeah, I mean, I got Flare Blitz and I kind of want to set up a Tailwind just to get some speed cooking. So I am going to end up going into both of them. Gyarados for the late game. And last but not least, Hydreigon. It's got to be Hydreigon. With the choice specs, it's just such a good Pokemon, so can't go wrong with it. Draco Meteors, Snarls, what more do you what more do you want? I was thinking of actually leading Hydreigon, considering they have a lot of special attackers, like Snarling just like turn one could be big for us. But one thing that I got to watch out with Snarl is going to be competitive Milotic, which they could lead. 
They don't. That's good news. It's actually good that they, they led both of these guys. So Golden Go comes out here. They're going to intimidate my Talon Flame. I don't mind that too much. Um, I could hit that Terror button if I want to just to deal with like Flare Blitz. And I am going to do that with a Nasty Plot. Uh, actually, am I? Yeah, because I don't think you go for an Ice move this turn. I really don't. So I'm going to go for an Nasty Plot here with a Dragon Terror, and I'm going to set up Tailwind. And I'm going to set up Tailwind. So my thing is here, I don't think you go for that Ice move into Golden Go right now. I'd be so upset if you do. But I'm going to say that you probably try to go for a Fire move. We set up Nasty Plot, we set up Tailwind, and then we can just make it rain away for a couple turns. So Dragon Terror going to pop out here. Protect's going to come out from Glaceon. I do not mind that. I do not mind that. And are we going to see a Flare Blitz? I think we're going to see a Flare Blitz. I think we just might see a Flare Blitz. We just might see a Blitz of Flares. There it is. So Flare Blitz flies. Great call on R and they hit that Terra button. Now we're sitting here. Nasty Plot boosted. Um, I want to swap Talon Flame at this point. Just hit that Make It Rain button. I could protect here, but I think we're just going to send it. Should do respectable damage. So make it rain, and I could come in here with an Intimidate and go into Gyarados. Yeah, I'm cool, because I want to save Talon Flame, especially with the Life Orb full HP. I'd rather get its attack stat back. So we're going to come out here with Gary the Gyarados. Freeze Dry would do me dirty on both these Pokemon, but if you say Ice type, you're, you're pretty much dead, Glaceon. You're pretty much dead. Make it rain. Coming in hot. He's going to withdraw Arcanine. Who you got flying out here? Gonna be a low on nine tails. Bad move. Real bad move there. Real bad move. What do you gain from that? Like, what's the plan here? You seen I nasty plot it. You know I'm going for make it rain. <laughs> I'm sending it. And we're gonna see a terror type pop out here from Glaceon. Probably into steel. Straight water. That's fine. Straight water type. Kind of counters my Gyarados a little bit, but I still have Talon Flame and Hydreigon for late game. So make it rain, launch it. We can say bye bye to Nine Tails, which actually Glaceon dodged that with Snow Cloak. Get out my face with that. Get out my face with that. Get out my face with that. Glaceon dodging that. Come on, man. Snow Cloak going crazy. Blizzard launches. So we can say bye bye to Golden Go. That really hurts. I want to do some damage on the Glaceon, but of course it's dodging moves left and right. All right, so we still have Tailwind, which is uh, good. And I think Hydreigon's going to be our play. We'll save Talon Flame. We know they have Arcanine. They might go into Arcanine. They don't know Clear Amulet. But they don't know. Or what they don't have is Terra. Snow Cloak. Come on, man. I should have clicked Glaceon a little bit ago. Snow Cloak was rocking. Now it's going up against me and it's rocking. <laughs> Get out of here. Arcanine comes back out here. I don't mind that. Um, I could see a hard stop from Arcanine. I could just choice in a Snarl here. Which actually might work. I got to see the rest of the team real quick. Medicham, Frostmoth. Is Frostmoth physical? Milo. Yeah, we don't want to deal with Milo. There is a chance that they have Milo, but I don't think they do. Maybe Dark Pulse might be your play. I'm going to send Dark Pulse that way. And I'm just going to go for a Waterfall in an Arcanine. Arcanine protects. It's smart protect. Dark Pulse. Can you get a flinch? Can you get a flinch here? Great damage. Give me the flinch. Waterfall's going to get blocked, and you're probably freeze trying for the KO. Is that what we're seeing here? freeze try KO? Blizzard. Hydrogon doesn't survive. Blizzard just doing work. So now he can E-speed me. I mean, I do have Quick Guard. I do have Quick Guard. What's my play here? I'm thinking of just Brave Bird and Glaceon down and just protecting Gyarados. And maybe just quick guard into uh, the E speed. We just got to see that if he has E speed yet. But this Glaceon, that, that dodge from Glaceon with the Make It Rain was huge. And they end up protecting Glaceon, just ruining everything I want to do. So, solid game from our opponent here. Solid game. There's the E speed. We're going to have to. Um, we're going to have to quick guard this E speed. That's the only way. Now would have been the turn to do it because they protect it. But I wasn't expecting to protect. Tailwind's gone. E speed's probably flying again. We're gonna go for the quick guard here and we're gonna look to land this waterfall. It's the only way. He ends up withdrawing on Glaceon. Hold up. Glaceon with the withdrawal. This could be this could be good for us. Milo's gonna come out here. Hold up. You're giving me a chance. 
So you're saying there's a chance here. Quick guard gonna fly. No E speeds allowed. No E speeds allowed. How much damage is this waterfall doing? This waterfall might not even KO. Arcanine's pretty bulky. How much damage are you doing? It does KO. Awesome. Dope. Cool. Rock. Rocky helmet? Really? <laughs> Rocky helmet. <laughs> Come on, man. Nothing working out for us in this third and final match. That's going to be game set match. Talonflame versus a water Terra Glaceon and Milotic on the field. We stand no chance and we don't have Terra. And we don't have Terra. Not going to lie. That, gla that Glaceon dodge was huge for them because Glaceon should be dead. Let's be honest here. But there's really nothing we can do. We can take out Glaceon here, but it's probably going to protect. It doesn't. So hold up. We're still here. Some Milotics don't run a water move, but chances are this one's running like Coil and Hydro Pump. And it's so bulky. It's just like, dude, we wouldn't even take it out in like three Brave Birds. We wouldn't even take it out in like three Brave Birds. Skull's going to fly. You can rock and Skull, and that's game. Talonflame, lightweight. GG's to our opponent. We go one and two for today's video. I did really like this team with the Gyarados. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Dragon Dance Gyarados getting effort in today's video. I know we went one and two and grabbed ourselves a losing record, but I still feel like this team played really well today. I feel like we went up against some good opponents who played well, and I didn't play my best today. So there's that. There's that. Snow Cloak Glaceon dodged the move. That could have been the deciding factor of the match, and it could have turned our losing record into a winning record. But still, like I said, this team was awesome, and I had a lot of fun playing it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.